Hello everyone, I am your Joyful Beast, and welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. Now, I said the last episode that we were going to head down to... Well, not head down. Uh, head outside. Head on land. And I've been having a lot of issues trying to find where we have to go to do that. So the bad news is I'm not showing that today. But here's the good news. I got way farther in this game than I thought I was going to. So we're going to get to explore some new biomes that are way deeper than we've ever gone before. But first, let me give you an update on stuff that's going on. I've been an idiot. I completely missed in the... Uh, well, what is it called? What did I call it? Twisty Bridges. That's right. Twisty Bridges. Um, there is a high capacity O2 tank in there. What that basically gives us is about... 90 seconds of oxygen although I think it might be more like 135 I think combined with the rebreather and the what we can normally breathe it's about 135 seconds which is so good it is so so good I finally got us some water I wanted to make sure I was prepared for that this time but as you notice the base looks a little different I have an aquarium going on back here I got some bladder fish and some peepers in there Hopefully, the way I have that, they might reproduce. I'm not entirely sure. I forget how the reproduction of, of creatures here go. But as you can tell, we actually have two stories to this base because down here is where all the good stuff's going on. So the big thing to note is this is our bioreactor. They basically compost organic matter into energy. So, you know, I have some rotten creep vine samples in there that are going. I also have some shrub nuts that I went back to Delta Island to find. Uh, you can also use it as food. Pretty handy. You can tell I have some lockers going on here. I think before I had these named, I have to rename them. Uh, but we got a fabricator finally, along with our battery charger. And then over here, we have a modification station that will basically modify our different gears. So you can already tell here, uh, we can give some upgrades to how deep our sea truck can go as well as a thermo blade that I've already made. Uh, it basically turns your survival knife into a blade that is heated. That you can basically instantly cook <laughs> uh, fish when you swipe at them. Now over here is a new room. This is our scanner room. It is pretty handy, but I think I've already picked apart a lot of this biome. But you can tell here we can look up all sorts of outcrops, uh, heat areas, I think if I look up heat area, you can actually see that on the map. Yeah. So we got a heat area right here. Uh, so I think that's what to the southeast. Uh, 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 sorry. So yeah, very handy. Um, this is how you used to have to look up stuff uh, in the first game before we got our portable scanner. But I added that room on anyway because I wanted it. And then over here, we got a moon pole. I put in a poster that says keep calm and truck on you also have your vehicle upgrade station over here so we could change the color and the name of our C truck there along with a fabricator to make some modules which I already did make a depth upgrade for the C truck it can now go down to 300 meters rather than 150 which is great now is that all I built is that all I've done is that all I have to show you guys right off the bat? I hope it is, because I don't think I did anything else. I don't remember doing anything else, but yeah. Uh, I'm already knocking into things. It hasn't even been five minutes, and we're already into trouble. So yeah, this is how our base now looks. It looks a lot more like a base, not just that little uh, multi-purpose room there. And plus, uh, I managed to put that second base where uh, if I go up top here, if it lets me. Yeah, it's sticking right out of the top and I put a beacon there so I know where our base is at. So yeah, what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you guys what is deep below in the twisty bridges that I was really scared to go down to begin with. It's the only place that I'm finding diamond right now, which is what I need for enameled glass. Uh, Yeah, here we are. Oh, frick. But what we're going to do is we're going to go right deep down and try to find some stuff here. And maybe we can find that uh, Artitect artifact too. 
Yes, hello. I called you guys bone sharks in the last video. I think you're called brute sharks, if I remember right. I'm getting you guys confused with the bone sharks that were in the, uh, the first game. But you're just as annoying as those in the first game. Right, so we're gonna go... We might not be able to take the sea truck deep down. Uh, I didn't think so. Oh, come on. Nice and easy, nice and easy. See, we're already at 220... 230, 250. We're not gonna be able to take the whole thing straight down. This is as far as we can get. There is a Leviathan down here, though. And that's what's... That... Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. I hate this area. Okay, it's right there. As long as you're there, that's fine. No, get the map off. Get that map off. I don't want him knowing we're here. Yeah, look at that thing. I haven't scanned him yet, so I'm gonna scan him real quick if I can get behind him. He's probably gonna get me. Uh-oh. That thing's freak. No, 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 no
You can stay down there. You can stay down there. You can stay. You can stay. Where's my sea truck? Right there. All right. I'm going to get in the sea truck a minute because I need to I need to take a look at what I've done. Oh, I'm swim down there a little bit. It's not like he's going to do anything to this. Oh. <laughs> I accidentally took a screenshot of when I got bit. Um I know I was saying something about horror movies. I'll get back to that in a second. Let's see here. What do we have? What do we have? Okay, so we can put in the storage module. That's going to be nice. We just need another fabricator module, which I assume it's down here somewhere. Here we go again. That thing is gnarly. I still want to scan it, but I'm really afraid of it. So yeah, as I was saying, uh, yeah, I, this, you can't get me to watch a horror movie, but Insidious was really good, uh, even though it's older. Although I am looking forward to uh, eventually seeing A Quiet Place Part 2 whenever that comes out. Uh, I love the first movie. That one is, that, that is so good. John Krasinski is just a really great, uh, an unexpectedly great director and writer of uh, some good horror. I just wasn't expecting him to do that. Because he's such a funny guy, you know? He's just such a funny guy. And you just don't expect him to make those sort of movies. But he did a fantastic job. And I, and I have to give him credit for that. All right, so we got both of the uh, sea truck modules, so we can go ahead and build those. That's going to be really good. But that's not what I'm worried about right now. What I'm worried about is where in the world the squid shark is. <gasps> Hi, buddy. Is it bad that I still want to scan him? Yeah, get over here. Oh, don't get over here. No, don't get over here. No, don't get over here. And I can't outrun him. That's the worst part of this. All right. Where is he? Oh, my gosh. Oh, and I can't take the thing any deeper. That's why I have that module out. And I basically need to make synthetic fiber for it, which we have rubies already, but it requires a spiral plant clipping. And I don't think you can get spiral plants down here. I think you can only get them in the purple vent area, which we've not been to yet. Wait. Oh, there's two of you. Why am I doing this to myself? Seriously, why? I, I just, just, just why? This is such a cool looking area, but my gosh. And you can get gel sacks down here, so I am going to get those. Oh my goodness. So I don't know where you have to get that, uh, the ancient artifact. Well, I, call, I keep calling it ancient artifacts. They are ancient artifacts, but architect artifacts. I don't know where you have to go into to get those. Like, there's one that way. But where's the other one? That way. How do you... Oh. No. All right, well, you know what? I'm not going to worry about that one right now. I just want to get out of this area. I probably haven't picked a queen of everything. But I want to get out of here before anything else happens. Nope, you shut up. We're done. I'm done down here. I have found what I needed. And now it's a matter of making this awful trip up. I'm going to kill this thing on the way up. Okay, I got one point of health down, but you know what? That was smooth as butter if I ever said so. <sighs> well, that didn't continue the story, but that does give us some really helpful stuff for our sea truck. And it basically makes it a mobile base. That's really what this does. But I did want to make sure that I filmed myself going down in that area because I only went down it that far to get diamond. 
I, I didn't go around to explore anything because I wanted to wait to actually film that for you guys. So what I'm going to do here is head back to our base, heal up my sea truck a little bit, Welcome aboard, Captain. and then see what we need to do to make this stuff. I might already have a lot of the ingredients I need. And if I don't, then we're going to do some more exploring. So it looks like we need a computer chip, a wiring kit, two pastille ingots, and some lead. Well, I think I have more lead. Yeah, I got at least one more lead. That's going to be fine. Um, except we're going to need six of them, aren't we? Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a gosh darn second. Oh, wiring kit. I forgot I had that on me. For, I Oh, I'm so glad I saved. This is why you save stuff. Oh, and you can make aerogel already. Oh, that's right. And I forget what that's used for. Uh, it's been so long since I played the first game that I forget what you used that for. But at least we got a wiring kit. That's really good. So yeah, I got a lot of copper, so we can, yeah, we can actually make a lot of the stuff that we need here really, really easily. Yeah, we just need gold and table coral. We need some more lead. And then it's the matter of the pastille ingots, which I need to, basically, a lot of titanium. That shouldn't be too difficult. And then lithium, which that's not going to be difficult. Okay, we can do this. And uh, since we're getting low on food, I'm going to show you guys real quick how this thermal blade works. It's it, it's literally the coolest. Well, it's not the coolest thing about these games, but it is really, really nice. Watch this. Let me just find a good fish. Yeah, I'm talking about you, Boomerang. Brap! Pick up. Instantly cooked. Instantly cooked. I'm not going to get the penguins. I don't even know if you can cook those. I really don't want to know, though. Uh, bladderfish. No. What? What? Oh. I got him. I got him. That was... Wow. That was a good shot. And let's do some hoop fish. Got to make sure not to eat the antenna. Yeah, we're getting... We're, get, we're getting good now. We're getting good now. Oh, the fish is rotten. Oh. I wonder if we can use him for the bioreactor. But it looks like it's still working on this stuff here. It's going to be doing that stuff for a long time. So you know what? We're going to put him right in there. He's rotten and he's dead. I know I killed a lot of fish. If I can find all the dead fish, that's what we're going to use for uh, some composting. It's sick. It's disgusting. But it's what we got to do to survive. I'm trying to remember where the purple vents are at. I believe they might be that way. But we're going to go towards Delta Station. Uh, to the area that I said I didn't want to go to, but we have to explore it a bit. And we're going to get all of our stuff. We're, we're basically going to make some pit stops along the way for different things that we need. I thought I saw another dead fish. I guess I did not. Although I do see sea glide fragments, so that will give us more titanium since we already have a sea glide. So I, I probably already showed that in another episode, but that should give us some fragments there. At the very least, I'm also going to pin the uh, titanium ingot just so that way I know how many we can make. So yeah, we need about 10 more of those. Oh, oh, I hit another fish. All right, so we got some table coral down here. That'll be good. Now, what happens if you use a thermal blade on table coral? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. And get some more titanium while we're down here. Super helpful. Because I think we're going to need... I don't know if we need more table coral than this, but at the very least, I will save it for later. Okay, so we do need to find gold, and actually, that's... Oh, you know what? I know a great place that we can find gold. And it's one that I completely missed until in my own discoveries finding it. Uh, so hang on a minute, because you, you might be interested to know this. But we are going to need lithium, nevertheless. So... I am going to go right around here. 
we'll go around the uh, outskirts of the. Uh, I don't know what this area is called actually. Why is there titanium here? Either way, that came in handy. This is an area where you can find lithium. I believe I wrongly said before that uh, I found lithium somewhere, but I never did. It was actually in here. Oh. Where? Is it up here somewhere? Oh, I don't like that sound. No, 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 no. Where? Oh, you. Yay. But we're going to need two more of them. <laughs> And this is what I hate, is because it's so sparse up here. Like, I don't know if you can just easily mine it somewhere or something. Oh, hi, buddy. There's another thing out here, too, that was really freaking me out, and I forget where I found that. What is this? Oh, another thing of the sea truck. Although, you know what? Yeah, we better. 10 out of 5, so we don't need any more titanium. That's it for that. Um, but we are going to need to find more lithium here, and that's going to be an issue. Oh. Where? Right there. I see it. So what does that mean now? We need one more. Oh, 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 Okay, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're done, we're done, we're done. No more of this hellscape. No more of this hellscape. No more of it. Oh, and I'm going to lose oxygen. Oh, dear. Can I make it? Oh, I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. You watch. Aha, just in time. Now, what does that leave us with? Some gold? So how much space do I have? A lot of space. So I'm going to show you guys real quick a really cool place to find gold. It, it and... I say it's really cool because it's the only place I've seen so far that actually does anything like this. There's also these crabs up here and they will get you. It is creepy. That's the one thing I always love about the Subnautica games is the music and the sound design are just exceptional. It's truly amazing. But anyway, so. Uh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, I need to go around here. Oh, shoot. Climb. Yeah, climb, climb. Where do you climb from? There you go. Thank you. Oh, there's an abandoned PDA out here, too. I didn't see that. Never knew that was here. I believe we have to go around to the left of the island, if I remember right. But I'm going to make sure to get some thermal plants along the way just to heat us up a bit. Yeah, there we go. Because there is a spot over here that you have to do a lot of exploring to find it, but it's really cool once you do. I just have to remember here quick. Yeah, you can see there's some pen penguins uh, just kind of chilling out here. Kind of cool, kind of awesome. So yeah, we're making our way around the outskirts here. We got some sulfur in here. It's getting colder. Oh, it's actually warm. You guys come in here too. Wait, is this a habitat for you guys? I just never noticed. And that's where the pilot last known position is. What was that? All right, you know what? I never want to hear that sound again in my entire life. <laughs> that was so cool. I never, ever, 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 ever. No, don't no, shut up. <gasps> it is both reassuring and unsettling to rediscover this site after being in storage for so long. My connection to the network grows stronger, however slightly. I hope you will continue to search for more of these. What? I didn't know there was an artifact down here. I'm, 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 I'm dead serious. I've never seen that in all my explorations down here. Oh my gosh. Acquired. Quantum. What is a quantum locker? That sounds to me like infinite storage. And this is when I'm going to. Yeah, hang on, hang on. You guys can't see this. Because I keep forgetting that I'm 
playing these games on a 4K TV with HDR. Uh, do I have another battery on me? Yeah, I do. Let me get the battery out quick. I'm not going to need the Sea Glide for a while. Here you go. That's better. Well, that wasn't what I was trying to find for you guys, but you know what? That was really cool. But actually, we might need to go up to the communications tower in order to find what I'm trying to see here. All right, let me take a look down here a minute. Because we, we got to be near it. If we're not near it now. Oh, yeah, we are. We're, we Okay, okay, okay. I know where we need to go. I know where we need to go. So that area up there, there there's like a... It's not a hidden path, but I feel like it's one that most people don't know about. Or, or you know what? Probably a lot of people do, and it's just me who doesn't know. But if we go up here to where the communications tower is, and we go up and around here, yep, there's the station. Now, you have to go, I think, back, not here, because that's where the communications tower is, but there's like a little hidden path around the back of one of these. Yeah, that's the way to that. I think it's back here. Let me just make sure of it. No. Okay, game. Way to make me look like an idiot. I know what I'm talking about because I found it before. Where are you? Ah, right here. So this goes down. And where does it head to, you may ask? And to here. This is a gold mine of Calvarate, of, I'm sorry, yeah. Calvarate outcrops. And it's filled to the brim with gold. So I'm gonna pick up as much as humanly possible. Give me the gold, all of it. It's literally, it's literally a gold mine. <laughs> and the pun was intended. It wasn't even a pun. I was absolutely dead serious. Uh, th this is just, such a great area. If we can get a lot of gold here, we're going to be good for a long, long time. Yeah, and, and also there's a thing that is beeping over there. I don't know what that's about. I've not been able to look that up. Although, wait a minute. Is that quartz or diamond over there? Oh, dear gosh. I don't know how you get over there. Seek fluid intake. I have absolutely no idea. Seek fluid intake. I got plenty to go. Vital signs stabilizing. Oh, dear. There's more. All right. Oh, well, inventory full anyway. So it doesn't matter. So, yeah, that's that's a really cool little nook for all those outcrops. And as you can tell, we got quite a lot of gold. We're going to be good for days. But yeah, I'll have to, on my own time, try to look up what's going on with that area down there. Because I feel like there's a way for you to get that diamond unless the game's telling you, hey, we got diamond over here, but we're not going to let you access it. No way, no how. You go find your own. I'll have to look up how you make that quantum locker. That is really, really interesting. Um, So actually, th this... Yeah, this was great. This was great. We're not getting a whole lot done story-wise, but hey, you know what? Just for me to show you guys some stuff... This is really great. Okay. Okay. The last time I tried to do that, I died. But this is like the third time that I've come back to this area and found something new that I haven't before. It's really cool. That was a cool jump. We're going to get out of here. All right. Now, is this right here? Is this something I've discovered yet? Because I cannot remember for the life of me if there's stuff I discovered or not. Yeah, I sure did. So never mind. It was a thought. Because since I missed grabbing the data box for the high capacity tank, and I missed it like several times until finally it was like, wait, it's in this area? I never found it. Where is it? Oh, it's right there? Oh, I never noticed it. I'm going to be killing off a lot of the wildlife. Well, the good thing I'm trying to have an aquarium going. Because, my gosh. Now, here's something else I want to know. Is there a... Can you make a radio like you can in the first game? Do they give you that? No. 
So there's not a radio this time. Then again, I guess we have a radio on us, so why would you need one? Okay, so here's the quantum locker storage solution, which shares content with all other quantum lockers. And we literally could make this if we wanted to. I, I might save that for my own time and show that to you guys. Um, just so that way I understand how it works. But uh, it's such a cool idea. That I mean, that would instantly solve a bunch of problems for me, especially if we make different bases. And if we can put the quantum locker on the sea truck, I doubt that we can. But if we could, that would be really cool. All right, so I think I've made everything. And the only way that we can do this is we need to grab our uh, mobile sea base there. So I'm going to go ahead and put away all of the gold that we've got. Because I don't think I need it for these. Nope, don't need them. Wait. Okay, I need more lead. I wasn't thinking about that. But you know what? I'm going to go ahead and make um, at least one of the modules today. That's fine. So we're going to go ahead down here. And we're going to make sure that we have this active. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got it. 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 We're going to release it right here. Climb up on it. And now... We have a choice here. We can make either the fabricator module or the storage module. And it on, I mean, at this point, it honestly doesn't matter. I think I'll be fine doing a fabricator module and then finding lead and making the storage one because having a portable fabricator is so useful. Of course, it takes us good old time to do that. That's fine. I'm okay with it. There it is. All right. Now. Wait, wait. We want to pack that up, though. We, <laughs> I, I don't know if the uh, mobile vehicle bay can move around. I forget. But we're going to leave that there. That's going to be our storage module. And I think you are able to enter it, if I'm not mistaken. Seek fluid intake. I told you I prepared for this this time. Or actually, no, you can't. But what we can do, here, here's what we can do. Because I watched uh, my one friend that's playing the same game as I've been saying. Um, I watched him do this, and it, it was so weird for me to watch him do it. It's going to be even weirder for me to actually do this myself. But how are we going to do this? So I think we can either back up into it or pilot it ourselves. Let me just make sure here. Was that it? Oh my word, it's on us. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I gotta see this. <gasps> oh. Oh, and you do get storage with it. Oh my gosh, that is so handy. That, that, oh my word. My mind's running with the possibilities right now of how you can do this. The one thing I am noticing is we're moving a lot, a, a little slow. Well, not a lot. It's a little slower than just having the one module. And I, if I do remember this right, the more modules that you add on, the slower it gets because physics. But what I am going to do is I'm going to grab some more lead while I can. We can just go right here, I think, too. So we had some, uh, or no, wait, I don't think it's Galena that, no, actually, no, uh, uh, is it Galena that I need or Arginite? I'm probably saying both wrong. I don't care at this point anymore. I will, I, I will mess up names until the day I die. Is there even Galena in this area? Oh yeah, there is. Lead. Some more quartz too. That's really wonderful. All right. I'm going to make sure I can scan that thing without it getting to me. I don't. Oh, shut up with the noises. Shut up with those noises. Arctic Ray. Oh. Okay. Cool. I want to look at that Arctic Ray, though, because th there's there's something that has, like, it looks a little... There's, like, some fish that has an effect that looks really psychedelic. 
That, that's the only thing I can say. Arctic Ray. Oh, it's harmless. So what in the world was I getting scared about? Oh, lead. All right, we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. I mean, I could make that thing right here, but I'd rather not. I'd rather make that uh, module back here somewhere. Yeah, I think this is going to be the last thing I make and then call it a day, at least for this episode. I think in the next one, we will explore the purple vents. Maybe by that point, I'll have made a quantum locker and I can show you guys what in the world it does. But yeah, this is really cool. This is just, we're just getting this stuff moving. And I'm enjoying it a whole lot. So we can actually pilot this thing and I do want to do this quick. I want to see if we can get this just right. Can we just lock her in? Oh yeah, it's in. Can we enter it from that side? Yes, we can. So we have more storage for all of our stuff. And that was my last water. Stabilizing. Fantastic. All right. So yeah, that's where I'm going to call it for this episode. Um, just wanted to give you guys an update and show you all what in the world I've been doing uh, with this game. You know, I'm hoping at some point to find the, what is it called here? It's the thing that we need for the test override module. We need a parallel processing unit. And I think the only way to get that is to go search some wrecks. So I might need to, on my own time, uh, set up some scanner rooms to hopefully try to find wrecks. At least if it lets me do that. I know in the last, in the first game, it lets you do that. But I don't know about this one. So... That's going to do it for this episode. If you liked this one, please hit that like button and be sure to leave me a comment letting me know, you know, really what you think of the game. If you're playing this yourself and you have any tips for me, uh, tips or tricks, please let me know. I enjoy engaging with the community on this stuff because it's a really fun game. And lastly, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified of when the next episode drops. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.